So hey there guys, I've just watched episode 4 of Stein's Gate. It was a good episode, really really good one. Um, uh, the reaction is in the description, links are there, watch it and go back here if you wanna listen to the discussion. And the discussion starts right now. So, great episode, really liked it. As I've said in the end of the episode, uh, it uh, it was a little break from a hardcore, you know, full track of information. We start with um, them looking at uh, human is dead, mismatch. Uh, they don't know, and there's like some more information coded, as they say, as they think with the weird. Uh, coding method which is probably IBN 5100 and Daryl tries to uh, decode it and it f it's not possible and uh, Okabe decides that yeah probably that's the IBN he contacts he contacts the uh, John Titer man then uh, then the laundry scene and the super funny scene, like nicest Mayushi ever. So they speak with uh, Suzuha. We see Mr. Brown, gorgeous looking man, and he's so huge, it's like like a mountain from a Game of Thrones. But he looks more uh, nicer. Though he said, "I'll seriously kill you," so you know, it maybe look nice. But he is not that nice. And they call my daughter a woodland creature. They speak about some daughter. I don't know. I never seen your daughter. Maybe she is like that bad. Uh, and and yeah, this little part of Mayushi standing with the hand towards the sun, not like towards the sun, like towards the stars. I suppose she called it like stardust something. And he sees her, and there's a, there's a habit of Mayuri's. I've taken the call in the Stardust handshake. And they show a little flashback, a little young Mayushi standing on a grave of someone. What can that be? What can that be? B. I don't know how much younger she is. So we know that uh, Luca is 17, uh, Kurisu is around 18, and so Mayushi should probably be also around that age. Right? So how old is she now at this picture? I'm trying to connect that scene to the fact that someone gave the computer to the shrine, but I mean, if, if it was her, she probably should have known that. Maybe it's like a, a, uh, a frame from a different world line, you know, maybe where Okabe died in a young age or something like that, I don't know. But what's up with that? They're intentionally showing poor Mayuri like high Hitlering a grave. Why? Could reach the stars. And then we see Kuriso Ooh, on the buyout. It looks hot. Isn't it hot here? I'm just. <laughs> and she's in the denial. That's also very interesting that her dad is also somehow connected to time travel thing. And her number, by the way, man, I didn't. Yeah, again, I forgot to 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 remove that part. Stupid me. And again, uh, her number. Wow. 
I think if I'm going to visit Tokyo, I'll never have this good number, hotel number room, you know, with, with like this scenery. There's going to be like some like dumpster at the best or no, uh, no windows at, at all. Because it's super expensive. That stuff is super expensive. Tokyo hotels are expensive as hell. Especially good uh, ones. Like more more than two stars is, is is barely affordable for like two two weeks of uh, visiting. I mean, of course, all people are different in in, in terms of their out uh, their income. And I'm not a uh, poor person, but still quite a lot of money needed. And then we see this cute moment with with fairies and Mayushi like ah, being said. Oh, and Titer answers him, tells about yes, uh, the IBN is super important. Uh, Ocarin runs towards Daru, tries to tell him that, but the man is tired. He was working like I don't know. A lot of time, non-stop. He hacked the thing and he tried to, to decipher it. Uh, let him rest, let him rest. He just ate. So yeah. Then we see again Moeka. They not, we don't see her, we see her messages. Man, the, the girl just appeared in one episode and then we only see her in, in, uh, uh, in like, in form of messages. And they meet with Kurisu. He grabs her. Man, they grabbed each other quite a few times in this episode. Like, so forceful, people. And he kind of tries to get her back by calling her all over the place. Like, zombie, Christina, assistant, everything. But only one thing works. The mention of a laundry, which is needed for her. And he's like, oh yeah, that's that's the place when I want to go there. So he, he shows it to her. And then again, then again, he jokes about some trauma. Yeah, yeah. Some, some, again, some... Christina was struck by lighting on the grassy plants of Arkansas. Sure. How the hell is creating that? It's like, so many creativity needed. And she denies, she denies that time machine... It's not, it is not possible. No, 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 no time machine. I don't know what's your uh, focus focus with uh, your microwave. It's not real. I don't care. And as I've said, it's a literal denial. Denying something that is kind of confirmed. And she has some history with her father. So we have Mayushi. With some history, with someone dying. We have Kurisu with some history. I don't know about dying. I I thought about maybe her father died in an experiment. Because it is connected to time travel this time. But maybe not. I don't know. Her father got some mistake. And she didn't... He, she, she don't want to repeat its, its mistake. His mistake. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but that's interesting. That is definitely interesting. So she, in the end, she declines his uh, proposal to to uh, join their mission to save the world, to fight the organization, and all that. <coughs> And the person you expect the least in terms of plot moving forward in a scientific, you know, the uh, uh, department, our girl Mayushi Nyan Nyan, in her cat girl appear uh, clothes, casually asks, tells fairies about an old PC that costs. 5,100 yen. Well, I mean, it's Mayushi. She remembered the number. And she's good. She didn't mess that up, right? The number is correct. You just can't uh, argue with that. And Ferris actually says that 
that's familiar. And Mayush tells about that to Okame, and he's like, Okreen, and he's like, woo, runs cra like crazy out of the uh, this ramen place, leaves some change, stupid few coins. <coughs> Let me look at the coins, though. No cell phones, like, poor, he always uses it, even if he doesn't use it, he actually uses it, kind of. Well, show me the coins there. One sec, I just wanna... No, oh man, he just dropped, like... Uh, he dropped... 101, 102, 250s, and 210s, so it's like 310 yen. While it has to be 400, if, if it's the same thing. And I, as I've said, I have like awesome yens, man. I'd like to show you, but this is, no, this is not a reaction. This is discussion. This is people. This is something that people watch. Uh, that like only the, the more interested people watch. But I'm not gonna spend your time with the coins, though I really like them. So, oops, oops, oops. Close the door. Did I? Yeah. So he leaves the chains, runs away, and appears in the weirdest place in the world where people scream theories, nyan, 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 nyan. And I'd be screaming as well. Because, like, this is like a... some sort of a... And she's... Wow. I mean, she's... It's so difficult to explain and win a special nyan nyan omelette rice. Uh -huh. She is so... Man, I don't have words for that. I feel like her character might not be liked by everyone. But I just don't know how... How can you not like that? It's crazy, a crazy character, but she's so seducive, seductive. Don't know the word even how to how to pronounce it. She's like super into role, and I it's no wonder like people are going crazy about her. It's like having her own show, having her kind of. I don't know if it's... Oh, and here's Mayushi. Man, they have their kind of toys and shit. This is a heaven. And Mayushi appears. So they have like the tournament in some stupid game. And he's like, tell me about the PC. And like, no, 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 no. You have to play the game. And I'm like, are you crazy? We have to... You're just a mate, and you're having your master leave, yeah. And she's so playful, you know, like... Mm, I love her. I mean, she's not as cute as Mayuri, but she's just lovable. Every character in this is super lovable. So they decide to play the game, though... I know how the hell... You let that through, but... Uh, Ocarina says, like, okay, um, we have a deal, right? I'm playing your game, and you're telling me the thing. She's like, yeah. And he instantly says, I am I am lost. I lost. Because there were no rule that you have to win in that. So, fairies, you get... You get... Debacked. As they kind of say that. So nice one, Okarin. Nice one. And she was hoping. She was like, "Ah, oh, so that's your plan." Yep, that was the plan, and it worked. And like, yep, it actually worked. And Daru is so proud. So, um, in the end, we understand. We hear. We hear that. I wonder what's the the games like card game or something like they have a desk. 
they have kind of like cards and stuff. Server. 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 So have like servers or something. And she says like we had that PC. No, what did she say? Who gave it to her? Where's they being? Father had it, but but it's gone now. Nanya. They stop saying bullcrap again. <laughs> One sec. What? Where? How? Sonia. I'm pretty sure the last time I saw it was in a Kihabara shrine. How the hell? How the hell you saw it in there? So we, uh, they had it, then unknown, and then she saw it somehow in a Kihibara shrine. Maybe you were the one. How, how you saw it was like somewhere like in a dusty, dirty, dark place. Maybe it's a translation thing, but it's like, how will you see that? Who the hell gave it to the shrine? Shrine... Thank you for messaging. Uh -huh. Oh, and yeah, and Kurisu gives... Uh, has the information from someone about the IBN, that it actually, yes, works. And Ocarina decides to go to have the IBN. And Kuriso also decides to go there with him, because she's interested. I mean, she may be in the denial, but she's not stupid. So they have, like, another few scenes. Uh, Luke appears. Another scene of them saying <laughs> weird stuff, changing, uh, giving their uh -huh. age. What do you mean? I never thought it would happen, says the father of Luca. I mean, father, y your son is like, whoa. What do you mean? And well, the person who donated this told us. That someday a young man who needed would appear. A young man, not just someone, a young man who needed. So take good care of it. Do you remember who gave it to you? Can you please ask him? Do not be stupid, people. It was 10 years ago, the year 2000. At least one person we know of who could have been in the year 2000. That's John Titer. But that was John Titer from the other world line. But then again, if we have the logic of uh, of what John Titer tried to, to explain to us about the world lines, like with killing poor A, you know, if we're killing A at some point, it changes the future to some degree. And there's a different future. So we have like kind of similar situation. We had a future previously that Titer visited in the year 2010. Oh, 2000. But then something changed and he visited, he still visited it, but in 2010. You know, maybe something in the year 2000 happened that prevented him appearing at that time that kind of postponed that moment and that event and or maybe that person or something kind of somehow connected to the uh, them giving them uh, having this computer what's with Kuriso's father then was he somehow involved in it? Maybe he was like experimenting or something? 
it's all interesting. And they, they're not even surprised here in that. I'd be super surprised, especially considering the whole situation. You're, you're knowing that's happening. So they find found the machine looks great. I wish I had this piece of technology in my house. Maybe not even this one, not the IBM 5100. Maybe something like similar, but not exactly this one. Because I like collecting. I like retro stuff. I like f I have like full under my TV. There's like I don't know, maybe ten or something old game consoles from the year. 89 and, and so and I have these new ones and the whole whole places like yeah and I want them more I want more I want to buy like even older ones like Atari and uh, Intellivision ColecoVision all that Vectrex man I really want to buy that but uh, not yet later on and I probably will buy at some point an old computer as well maybe it's not that old at least I want to buy some old computer like Windows 95 type of computer like with Pentium like the the earliest the earliest Pentium. So yeah, we're getting distracted, but it's just my thing. I really like it. I know so much stuff about it. So yeah, they have the computer, they start arguing again and they take it to the layup. And while doing that, they're ending the goddamn episode. So I'm, I'm really interested to see uh, to see what's what's gonna happen in the next episode. Because each episode we're getting closer and closer and closer to the information. Though you know, digging, digging, we're digging uh, in a in a in a beast's lair. That's that's kind of dangerous. The style is very interesting now, so I wonder, I wonder what's and how and and all that. And this is gonna be a short discussion, people. First of all, because this is the second discussion of the day, and the first one was like an hour long, and it's like twelve o'clock already uh, in the night, and I have to work tomorrow. And uh, and because this episode was not filled with stuff, just a lot of talks. I'm not gonna go through all of them. You know them, right? So, we're gonna finish now. It was a great episode. I'm gonna watch the next one tomorrow. Really wanna know what's up. See you in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.